One of the challenges I faced was uh, definitely the, the cutting weight was probably the hardest. Uh, trying to keep my weight down, maintaining it, uh, making sure that I'm, I'm eating the right foods, um, staying healthy. Um, also just, uh, you know, we have a lot of tough practices, you know, we're in here all the time and just uh, learning to embrace the grind, uh, trying to be more positive, uh, definitely that was probably the biggest thing. I, I told him specifically that he had to drink a lot of water continually and before he would cut, uh, he would stop drinking water and then they really would cause a, 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 his body to shut down because his body wasn't hydrated. And I said, you got to continue to drink water all the way through. You continue to eat small meals uh, every day. You don't want to starve yourself. you got to eat five meals a day. I also told him that he needed uh, juice to get some carrots and uh, all kinds of broccoli, whatever. So I gave him my juicer and he, he was juicing. So it helped he him. Uh, I hope it, it did help him. He did make yeah. it. But some days he was kind of irritable still, snappy, you know, but it was good. So now it was about eating the right things, maintaining my weight, and slowly descending down. That way I could feel a lot better for competition. And it really helped my performance this year, definitely. I felt a big difference. That was my conditioning. That was probably one of the biggest factors. Um, you know, I, I uh, do a lot of sprints on my own. Uh, I wake up early in the mornings. I, I try to do things that are going to separate me from my opponents. I try to do things that, like, that I know that they're not doing. So like going and getting early morning workouts, doing sprints, uh, lifting weights, and then coming to practice. And on top of that, I would still go and work out on my own again after that. So I'd get like about three to four workouts a day. And I know it'd pay off because when I'd go out there, I, I would feel good, I wouldn't get tired. My conditioning was great. Uh, the ultimate goal is, uh, I would say obviously, is become a national champion. But um, definitely uh, just uh, keep a, doing well in school, uh, continue to uh, improve with that. That's that's my uh, main focus, really. I mean, has a quiet type of leadership, which is, he's really quiet, but he, he takes care of his business. He's always here, he's always on time, he's always about his purpose. And I think that that uh, athletes look up to that and respect that because they know he's about his business. And, and that's a, a, a form of leadership, of being a quiet leader, of leading through your example. And so he's done a great job there. And I look, I look forward to great things from him. And the most important thing is, him getting his diploma. Uh, that's the most exciting thing because my, my goal for my wrestlers is not only just to be great wrestlers, but more importantly to be great uh, role models in society and be able to be. I feel like I've grown a lot in my relationship with God too. Uh, like these devos, they definitely, they definitely help. And like I said, people are just so nice here and like they actually want to know about you. And like when they ask you how you're doing, it seems like they genuinely care about you. And so I feel really blessed and uh, thankful to be here. And, uh, you have just the chance and the opportunity to, to be able to do what I love to do and uh, be at a good school where I actually like feel like I'm loved. So.